All right, so here we are. This has been my morning routine for over, I don't know, call it a year. It's already past the hospital. My mom used to be at the port shop. Well, she was at the port shop for a short while, on and off, so. Go get some Starbucks, come let the dog out. Rocky, come on Rocky, come on go outside. That's Andrew, come on Rocky. Rocky, come on dude, come on go outside. this manager there this chick that she was amazing like always super friendly always on I just I, I, I said something to her one day I'm like man like you are uh you're, you have phenomenal like customer service I'm like why like tell me why because I own a business I would love to have my employees do the same she's just kind of said it you know, right to her upline kind of edified whoever trained her is like this is just how we are Luke's this is like what we represent I'm like man that's that would be a cool thing. I really wanted to like get a camera and go interview people like that and just ask them, like, why are you like this? You don't have to be. You know how many places we go that are mm -hmm. just, they're upset that they have a job and have to serve us, it seems like. They're getting paid to do a job. That they don't want to do. Yeah. yeah. And then they like, they, I don't want to say they take it out on the customers, but they sort of are just crappy, you know? And then you got people like that that are just, they totally go out of their way. Why is that? Rocky, outside. Get my Starbucks, put it in the fridge here, and you'll see. Oh, look at that. This is from another few days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good for about three days now. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna just keep them. I've been trying to look for a place and uh, like look for a home. I feel it feels wrong giving them to. Like, a, even if it's an awesome rescue or a shelter that would try to find him a home, I, I don't know. I know my mom wouldn't be upset with me, but she loved this dog more than, uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> more than anything. It was her best friend. And it's so sad she didn't get to see him for like a year, because when she went in the hospital, clearly you can't bring a dog into the hospital or you shouldn't. And, uh, yeah, I think about that. And then I think about the dog, too, like their pack animals, and that was like... Can you imagine all of a sudden one of your pack disappearing and you have no idea like what happened to him? Like I, I think about that too. Like my mom was his best friend and provider and everything, and I'm like, man, she just disappeared one day and it's, we'll never be back clearly. And uh, well, it seems to be okay. It's not like dying, but I'm sure he's got to have some sadness. This is what the gift of hope like sent in the last packet saying, hey, sorry, you know, we couldn't use anything, but they sent some, like, bracelets and pins. I don't know. Nice. Sounds like a cool organization. It's on my list of things to donate to. I mean, not money, like organs. Surprisingly. I mean, some, you know, I don't want to say something's got to give, but I'm sure things fatigue and I'm not doing the, like this 
rehab stuff I'm supposed to be, or I don't know what you would call it. Probably injury prevention. And That's not good. That's bad. Dude, the human body's so complex. Isn't it mind blowing? It is. Like, it's like more. Like, but it's the coolest thing on earth. Like, no other animal can do everything we can. Dude, that's Like, we don't necessarily have the speed of a cheetah, but, you know, he's like Bolt does, maybe for. Huh. Oh. You drink a little juice. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. But, man, there's just no other animal that can do what we can, so I try to be appreciative of that. All the stuff I still can do without having an ACL. You don't need an ACL. You got one. What do you need two for? Dude, oh, you're being greedy, all you bastards have two. Shenanigans, take one. <laughs> oh, there's still T for two and two for T. How do we stay in frame? I, I'm, I'm good from like this black line over. See a bunch of kids in the background. We're going to do some jiu-jitsu with these guys. Uh, I'm at Fairhaven Baptist Church, and they have a wrestling program. That they've been training pretty hard. They are known for being some strong, uh, just strong people. So I'm going to introduce some jiu-jitsu to them, and maybe I'm going to build a jiu-jitsu program out of these guys. So I'm really excited. But stay with me. Check this out. Partner, sir, you're looking good. I'm looking for that front head. 